Greetings, YouTube. Happy Black Friday, or as Kabam is calling it, Cyber Weekend. Well, the start of Cyber Weekend, I should say. I'm going to be putting a lot of work in the next couple of hours, breaking down every single deal, both good and bad, for every progression level, counting on my subs who are uncollected and below to send me enough screenshots to talk about everything. And of course, I've got to start with my own account, which is all Cavalier deals. You might think that I'm really excited to do this because this is kind of what my channel's based its reputation on. But depending on the asking price, I'm also very anxious and nervous for the community. I'll go into detail in that in a moment. Keep in mind, when we logged in on July 4th, the first message that you saw was a here's 5,000 five-star shards for free. That's not here. <laughs> That's been replaced with this go now button, as in we're not going to give you anything. Go now. All right. We still see limit five on the left, but we see limit three on the right. Okay, so that that's the first kind of, okay, okay. So they're not asking you to buy five Star Lords loot bags. Maybe that means they won't ask you to buy five of anything else besides Peter Parker's wallet. Maybe that means the price tag will stay at six hundred dollars before taxes, which is still crazy high, but it's not a thousand. Um, okay, forty five hundred tier five basic Calus fragments, two hundred fifty six Star Hero crystal shards. This is comparable to what we saw on July fourth. 27,000 Tier 2 Alpha Calus Fragments. I was hoping that this would be a fully formed Tier 2 Alpha, but hey, that's still the best T2 Alpha price tag we have seen. About $25, $26 per T2 Alpha at best is, is what we've seen for an A value. This is 10 bucks for almost a fully formed, plus Tier 4 Basic, which I don't know about you, but I always need more of those. 500 Six Star Shards is a little skimpy. It's keeping the same value as the left with the right, but the $10 bundle is way more valuable than the, than the $5 bundle because 4,500 tier five basic catalyst fragments, not much, but 27,000 tier two alpha, absolutely. So if you can only buy one of the, these, the $10 is, is much better than a $5. All right, let's move to the right. Limit three again, 1,500 six star hero crystal shards. Love that. 60 plus one signature stones. Not the biggest fan of that because they're plus ones and we saw plus fives on July 4th and plus fives don't stay in your inventory as long. Maybe we'll see plus fives on the right. But 9,000 tier five basic. Here's the confusing thing so far about these Cavalier offers. They're kind of rotating between either giving you tier five basic or tier two alpha. Now, maybe they just hope you're going to buy all of them. But YouTube, I'm a bit concerned because I think tier two alpha should be included with tier five and... For the average summoner, I still say that the $10 offer looks better than the $30 offer, especially because they're plus one six stones and 1,500 six star shards is not really that much. So, so far, uh, obviously all these offers are normally A values because they're bonus items and you get the units included, but the $10 offer for Cavalier players, that looks to be the best value, uh, just objectively speaking. All right, let's go to the right. Black Panther's Treasure. Three tier two alphas for $50. That is amazing. That's about $16 and change per tier two alpha and 15,000 tier five basic cows. This is what we have seen on the Odin. Thank you, YouTube. Thank you, Kabam. This is what I'm talking about. We have a fully formed tier five basic now for $150. I know that's a lot of money, but still, that's way better than $300, which was the asking price the last two specials that we have seen and documented. So, three tier two alpha. This is basically um, getting your five star closer to rank five. You could get a fully formed tier five basic plus uh, nine tier two alpha calyx. That's amazing. Plus almost a fully formed six star crystal, 9,000 six star shards, and another, oh, 10 six star six stones. Hoping some of you have a six star that's worth awakening. So the $10 value and the $50 value are both the top values for sure. Also love the Black Panther's treasure symbol on the top left. That looks very impressive. All right, here we go. Slow reveal. No five-star basic. Oh, yes. Yes, this is what I was asking for, and this is what we are seeing. We are seeing for $100 the Nexus Crystal. Thank you, Kabam. Uh, sorry for you headphone users. Uh, thank you, Kabam, because this is going to give you some control over what champion to land on, and I'm going to do at least one opening with this. God, I can't wait for a six-star. This is also what Otriex data mined. For 100 bucks, you have the power to pick one of three five-star champions, and there's probably going to be a lot of trash, but hopefully there's some good stuff. On top of that, fully formed tier five basic. You buy three of these, 
you've got the three tier five basic needed to take a six star to rank two by itself and 5,000 six star hero crystal shards. Uh, kind of wish that was 10,000, but I'm not going to get too picky. That's enough for a featured six star between those three offers. And then 10% tier five class catalyst fragment crystals. This is going to mean that you will see more rank three six star champions today. I have seen several people have told me that they are less than 10,000 uh, tier five class catalyst fragments of that specific class away. Maybe today is it. Uh, odds wise, probably so. Also, limit three per these. So thankful it's not limit five. Way to go. Kabam. Okay, now let's go into this. The unit offers. So the 50, the 100, and the 10 are A++. The other is like B value, the 5 and the 30. Okay. It's a 3 to 1 ratio this time of 5 star shards. Still not great, right? 1 to 1 ratio of 6 star shards. Don't love that. But the tier 2 alpha for 1,000... Uh, units definitely love that tier four class catalyst crystals whatever those cavalier players probably like me have 30 plus of those in your inventory at least and then tier one alphas always like to see five instead of four but that's fine this is better than we've seen in the past but still compared to the uh, other offers pretty much a joke I'm gonna give this a C plus to start out but of course we are looking to expand upon the other tiers so we've got these we went through these Let's now go through, hopefully, what they're going to give us in terms of the unit offers. Okay. Is this going to go from 1,000 to 4,000? It sure is. And we see, for 4,000 units, three Tier 2 Alphas. So that's a total of four. So enough Tier 2 Alphas to take a five-star to rank four. We see nine Tier 1 Alphas. Or no, 10, excuse me. Okay, fine. Uh, 22,500 Tier 5 Basic Callus Fragments, half of a Tier 5 Basic, and 80 five-star signature stones. Okay, so all that's fine. But it's supposed to get you to the big 10,000 unit offer, which in the past has been five-star generic Awakening Gems, uh, enough rank-ups for a six-star. Is this going to be where we finally see the six-star Awakening Gym? I'm most pumped for the five-star Nexus Crystal. I think that's by far the best thing we've seen so far. All right. Superior Awakening Bundle or the Superior Rank Up Bundle. Okay. Stuck to the five-star Awakening Gym. But the five-star Rank Up Gym is no longer a Rank Up Crystal. So that means, if I'm reading this correctly, and there's really no way to know until it pops up, that this is a generic rank 4 to rank 5 gem. That means you can use this on any 5 star of any class. This is officially way better than the 12,000 unit offer at the end of 6.1. Because that is a class based gem, not a generic. And 10 tier 1 alphas, 125 star signature stones. Okay, so this is saying, take that 5 star that you've been waiting up to rank 5. Take him up to rank 5. Awaken him. Uh, Prof, we're looking at your Nick Fury here. Alright, now... Let's see if the six star awakening gem is here. Two tier five basic catalyst. Okay, that's no big deal. You can get those from the Odin. 20,000 six star hero crystal shards or two six stars. Okay, but that might be two six star Groots. 10 tier one alpha catalysts. 50 five star signature stones. 1.5 million gold. YouTube, that's not good. <laughs> that 10,000 unit offer. You could easily get two trash six-star champs. And on top of that, the two tier five basics, you can get two of those already from the Odin. I was hoping to see a six-star Nexus Crystal or a six-star Awakening Gem or maybe even a rank one to rank two rank up six-star gem. That superior rank up bundle is trash. But here we go. Once you choose one of these offers... The other will no longer be available. Purchasing either bundle will unlock the maximum summoner bundle. Okay. Hold on to your hat. This is the fourth. Now, this is going to get you to 18,000 units, right? 3,000 plus 10,000 plus 4,000 plus 1,000. Yeah. Yay for basic math. Is this where we see it? Another six-star hero crystal. Whatever. What? it that's the only thing partial possible with that that's some bs trash i just feel like we got punked is this is this uh april fools oh wow well 
what can I say? I'm let down big time on six stars. If you're not going to give us a Nexus Crystal, there's so many average six-star champs out there. Um, man, no six-star Nexus, no six-star Awakening Gym, no six-star Rank Up Bundle. I think the, assuming I'm reading this correctly, and Lord knows I've been wrong before, but assuming the Superior Awakening Bundle is a five-star Rank Up Gym that's not a Gym Crystal, it's a generic Gym, buy that sucker up. Don't worry about not getting Tier 5 Basic Catalyst or 6-star Hero Crystal Shards. You'll get those in the other offers. Um, and I guess you can spend 3,000 more units, but this this thing, the 6-star Hero Crystal Shards, that should give you more than that for an additional 3,000 units. At this point, it should give you a rank up gym or something. Kabam! Who designed that? Are you drunk in Canada? Well, oh. okay, so if you're getting all the purchases... Golly, I'm going to do one of those things where if you buy everything, it might be a smarter move to hoard your units for clearing content in Act 6. Or Kabam talked about how they want these offers to be for um, for the community to clear new content like the end of Act 6 or the Labyrinth of Legends 5.0 or whatever you want to call it. In, in that case, you're going to want to have plenty of units for revives and potions and boosts. We don't see any of those in these offers. So, the Odin, incredible. Black Panther's Treasure, incredible. Uh, Tony Stark's Briefcase, let down. Star-Lord's Loot Bag, no-brainer. Peter Parker's Wallet, let down. I, um, I'm very happy about the Odin and the Black Panther's Treasure. I love that we're finally seeing a Tier 5 basic come down to $150 for cost, even though I realize it's still a lot of money. And I'm glad for the sake of responsibility that they didn't limit these to five. And somehow the six-star vision remains the craziest asking price of all time with 30,000 units. But at the same time, they really missed an opportunity to have a better unit offer. I'm going to be snatching up the five-star Awakening Gem plus Rank Up Gem 1. It is a... I know people almost want to make this a drinking game when I say it, but it is a no-brainer. Seriously, a no-brainer compared to the six-stars because it's not a Nexus Crystal. It's going to give you a six-star Hulkbuster, you know, patent pending if he ever gets buffed in the beta that they said he's going to see. But six-star Deadpool X-Force, there's just too many variables. The five-star Nexus Hero Crystal, that's what's really exciting. And comparatively to the 18000 unit asking price of everything, 100 bucks is a lot more reasonable. So... Um, there you have it, YouTube. We broke all the Cavalier offers now. We'll throw this online and then prepare ourselves for the uncollected ones, the proven ones, and kind of talking about overall the state of offers in the game. So a lot of work in the next couple of hours. I'm also going to be doing an opening where I open one five-star Nexus crystal, save the rest for my subscribers starting tonight, but I do want to see what one looks like. So we'll open one up and um, maybe we'll see Aegon pop up. Who knows? But either way, uh, I would not recommend using the Awakening Gem or anything else until you've opened all your crystals because nothing's worse than using an Awakening Gem than the algorithm giving you the champion you just awaken with that rare gem in a crystal. So keep that in mind. Responsible crystal opening. Tactics for the win. Happy Black Friday. Happy Cyber Weekend. Thanks for watching and stay tuned for many, many more offer review videos. <laughs>